Good morning internet. So today's uh, little trick is we're going to try and fix my Kiwa uh, Q-Power scooter. The uh, hydraulic brakes uh, simply don't work. If I understand what Kiwa was explaining to me, this is how we're going to fix the brakes. Detach the hose from the reservoir and then pump fluid from the bottom of the hose up the hose to where it's coming out the hose with no air bubbles. So to fix the brakes today we need to come out of the country. We're going to go down into the uh, the village and see if we can't find what we need. So here we are in the little hardware store slash grocery store slash everything else store we have in this town. Okay so from all the random bottles we have finally found DOT3 and it's only a little one so we're gonna grab that one right there we have to get that up a hose so to do that we have to push it up and to push it up we need to get fluid up a very thin hose which I'm not quite sure how to do so we're gonna search for something random so with a little bit of help from the guy in Ace Hardware I found what I need uh, to put fluid in the system without air bubbles syringes from the gardening section and a turkey baster which has uh, a seasoning injector which also has a, a, a syringe type nozzle so I'll be able to actually fill up the reservoir from the bottom to fill it up properly. Hopefully this will be easier than I make it look. Now I've done a little research and I believe I'm going to need two Allen keys, uh, some DOT3 brake fluid and I've got a little work around with some syringes that I can hopefully use those to bleed the system out properly. What we need to do first is to remove the brakes from the handlebars. Detach the hose from the reservoir and then pump fluid from the bottom of the hose up the hose to where it's coming out the hose with no air bubbles and reattach the hose to the rear drum once there's no air bubbles i can reattach it to the reservoir i'm told in here is a reservoir for the the brakes loosen off the handle i can see there's some fluid in the reservoir but not enough so the rear hose connects to the brakes here and i think prudence says we have to remove the entire brake unit and to get the fluid up the lines I have a series of syringes that I can use to uh, make sure there's no air in the line. Now I'm going to disconnect the rear cable and I'm going to inject quite a lot of fluid in uh, just to make sure there's no air bubbles and spin off the brake assembly. Okay now injecting the fluid from the bottom up Okay, that's good. Put your thumb over it. Okay, so I just put a little squirt of fluid into the reservoir. And now I'll attach the, the handle to the hose. Both ends are attached and tight, I believe. Bubbles, of course, in a hydraulic system, any bubble stops the action because you can compress air. After filling the brakes with hydraulic fluid, it actually looks like for the first time I have good solid brakes. Yay!
Stop! <laughs> 